Welcome back to another video style crew. If you are new here, I am Rio. And today we have episode five of the Upload Marathon. Now, if you're not familiar with what's been going on and what I've been doing this week, I decided to do an Upload Marathon. I had a lot of things that I've bought. So I figured I would just take a week and just upload a video daily for that week. I have a wide range of stuff I'm gonna be showing you. We have some dapper stuff, and they're all laid out right in front of me, so I'm kind of looking down. We have some dapper stuff, casual, and we're kind of going to the street stuff, and then the kind of athleisure at the end. We're gonna get started with um, the dapper pieces like loafers. Now, loafers can fall into the dapper and the casual, it comes down to what you wear them with. First up, I have some navy loafers. These are from the brand Walk London, and I got these from ASOS. Now, of course, this is, a, this is a brand from London and they do have their own website, but I picked these up from ASOS. They are a navy suede tassel loafer. And when I saw them, I was like, you know, that's it. I was on a hunt for some navy suede loafers and I saw that and I love the tan midsole. It just kind of give it that contrast and it just kind of works with a lot of different looks. And the reason why I grabbed this is like I mentioned earlier in this week, I've been wearing a lot of navy. Even if it's like outfit is a navy, if you have a navy highlight in there, it, you know, it kind of works. And I picked these up because I wanted to have a navy loafer footwear option to go to. I think these were like 60 bucks. They're not a very known brand for footwear, I don't think. I do have a pair of Chelsea boots that I picked up from them like a few years ago. And those Chelsea boots are really nice for the price of that, that I paid for them. So I knew from the Chelsea boots in general that if I invested in these and they weren't expensive at all, that there would be a nice option to have. I wouldn't say they're the highest quality, but aesthetically, they're really, really nice. They really have a really nice modernized cut to them, very sleek. And usually things like this or pieces like this, you're gonna spend a couple hundred on just to even achieve this look. So I thought they did a really nice job creating this kind of silhouette at a price point that they are. Moving on, I have another pair of loafers. These are gonna be a light brown, or not really light brown, they're kind of dark brown. Here, they're dark brown. Dark brown, also from Walk London. Got them on ASOS, tassel loafers. What I like about these is that they're, I don't know if they're 100% leather. I don't know if it has the information on there, but they're braided loafers. So they have that braid going all the way around very clean aesthetic. I posted a picture, I'm going to post a picture. All this stuff is pre-recorded, so by this time it's already on my IG, but I'm posting a picture, when it should be in already, of a timeless look I kind of pulled out, and I think I posted that on Sunday because of when I posted the H&M video. And I had pulled these out in that with that outfit. These things work very, very well. So I'm happy I picked these up. Again, I got them on ASOS from Walk London. These, I think, were maybe like 60 bucks as well. I will try to link as many things as I can down below. I can't link everything because everything isn't readily available but I'll link whatever I can or just tell you exactly what it is. I look to utilize stuff like this to create looks for you guys moving forward. Next up, we have a piece that I've sought after for quite some time, and that is a pair of Allen Edmond cap toe shoes. Now, if you're familiar with Allen Edmond, you know they are, when it comes to shoes and dress shoes, I guess they're more on the luxury side of dress shoes. These are 400 bucks, and I was lucky enough to get these half off um, I think like at the beginning of summer. They have this beautiful cognac brown color. I've worn them already. I actually worn these in New York. I posted a picture Tuesday when I did my mango video. So check that out on my IG of me rocking these in New York. I actually want some more Allen Edmond shoes, but those price tags are $400 a pop. Yeah, I'll have to wait till I can find some more deals. I found these on Amazon, 200 bucks, half off. You can't pass it up. Next up, we have a pair of minimal sneakers. Now you can see I have these in all navy. I talked about minimal sneakers a couple months ago, a few months ago, in my How to Style Minimal Sneakers video. In that video, I talked about the brand Koyo. This one is gonna be the low one from Oliver Cavell. Now this is something I decided to purchase because I just love the simplicity of the minimal sneaker and I wanted to have something in the all navy color. Talked about it earlier this week, how much navy I've been wearing. Of course, the first option I've showed you with the navy suede loafers. Navy's become a part of my wardrobe. It's a color that I've been digging a lot. You know, I'm wearing navy right now. It's something that I'll continue wearing. Very simple, clean silhouette. You can wear these things with so many different things. The versatility of a minimal sneaker is definitely through the roof. Next up, we have another minimal sneaker from Oliver Cabell. And this one, 
is in the nude colorway. Now with these lights, you really can't see it as well, but I'm gonna give you some B-roll that kind of shows you the actual color of the, of the sneaker. It's the same exact model as the navy pair, which is called the Low One. I think they do have these available. Now when I bought mine, they weren't in stock, they were back ordered. So it probably took maybe like a month and a half to actually get them. Maybe they're in stock at this moment. With it being the holiday times, maybe, I don't know, maybe they might be sold out. I'm gonna link them down below. And I'll try to link everything else down below like I mentioned to you. But anyway, we're gonna move on to the next one. This is another pair you really won't be able to see well because it's white, but these are the French blue Jordan 7s. Now, you guys know my history has always been with the Jordans. Now, the only reason why I bought these was to produce that Halloween video that I did with Dressing Like Fabulous and Old 2 from the Trade It All music video. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, I kind of showed you that Kobe jersey and told you about why I picked it up. And I picked these up for the same exact reason. I never had a pair of French Blue Sevens, and I think I have, I have the Raptors, I have the Bordeaux, I have the Olympics, and I have the Cardinals from 2006 Cardinals. I've never had a pair of French Blues, and I always wanted one, which pack was that? Was it a DMP pack? I forgot exactly which pack those were, but I always wanted those. These are the, I think 2015 pair. I don't know exactly what year these came out. These are from, yes, 2015. These are from 2015. And I found these on Grail. The only reason why I was kind of shopping on Grail is for jerseys. A seller had these on Grail for like a buck 70. They were dead stock, 100% legit, perfect. They came with the receipt. Everything was good. Of course, I wore them to the dirty at the bottom. I picked that up for that video. If you haven't seen that outfit of the day, I really enjoyed making that. It's a dope video. I'm gonna put it up here for you guys to check it out. And then we have another Jordan. You guys know I love my Jordans, but this is the last Jordan of this lineup. This is going to be the Mellow 2s from 2018. The first time these released, it was in 2004, and I always wanted a pair and I never got them. In 2018, when it came out, I still didn't get them. In yesterday's video, I showed you that Mellow jersey, the first one I showed in that video. And when I copped that jersey, I was like, now I gotta get those Mellow 2s. I ended up finding a seller on eBay who had them for a decent price. I had a moment where I was thinking about maybe getting the 04 because when it comes to like the overall silhouette of the shoe and the way the shoe is done, I prefer that over this current version. But it made no sense to buy something that old when there was a newer version that was available. So I just decided to rock with these. Of course, with being the newer ones, I'd be able to have these much longer than the 2004 pair. I do have this um, Chicago pair from 2004. I feel like they came out some time ago, but I have to double check. But I think they should come out with these again. The twos aren't as popular, so don't get as much love. But I like twos. They're, they're still a bit of a bulky shoe, but I like the Jordan twos and I definitely do love these. So I had to get the Mellow twos to rock with the jersey. If you saw my Iverson jersey pickup from a couple months ago, Yesterday's video, I said it was like a month and a half ago. I think it's two months at this time. But anyway, if you saw my Iverson jersey pickup video, I talked about copping a pair of shoes to rock with those jerseys. And I, I told you guys to guess. I don't know if somebody ever did guess what those shoes were. But I ended up picking up the Reebok Questions. And as big of an Iverson fan that I, I was and really still am, I've never had a pair of Questions. I never really knew why I'd never had a pair and then I kind of thought more about it. I think this shoe and silhouette of the shoe, it's it's, a pretty bulky looking shoe. I never bought these for that reason, but once I copped those jerseys, I knew I had to do it. I had to get them because once you got an Iverson jersey, especially the rookie jerseys, you gotta do it right. I had Iversons back in the day, but these I just never have. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put right here, I'm gonna put the different Iversons that I've had so you guys can kind of know that how much of an Iverson fan that I was. All of the rookie jerseys that I got, which you would have shown in that video, being this color scheme, like all of them pretty much work. I need the ones with the blue toe, the royal toe. I need those as well. Luckily, these had just restocked, so I was able to get my hands on them. I picked these up to rock with the jerseys. Let's move on to the next shoe. In yesterday's video, I talked about Pippen and like what Pippen meant to the Bulls and what he meant to Jordan. And after picking up some of those Pippen jerseys, I knew I had to get something to rock with those. I got a pair of, these are called the Air of Tempos. Now these weren't technically a Pippen shoe, but he definitely he did wear these. And I got this, which is called the Bulls colorway. They have this, I think, in a Lakers colorway and maybe a different colorway, I think. So I ended up getting these in the red and the black to rock with the Pippin jerseys. These sneakers are like boots. These things are humongous. So I don't know how often I'll wear them. I think I paid like a hundred bucks for them on eBay. So they weren't too, too bad. I think, actually, they think were like under hundred. I think they were like 90, it doesn't matter. But they weren't too bad, too expensive. Yeah, these things are boots. I got some B-roll here. I put a slide out here or here. I don't know where I put it. But I got some B-roll here to kind of show you how they look with the jerseys. So all three Pippin jerseys that I got, if you watch yesterday's video, you'll kind of see you know, how those look with those jerseys. They fit pretty good. They're, they're bulky, they're big, 
but I think they're still dope. And the last shoe that I got is something that I honestly wasn't planning to show you guys at all. But I figured since I just got them not so long ago, I would show you mainly because of the comfortability that they provide and how dope I think they are. So I ended up picking up these. And if you're CDs, you're probably like, what the heck are those? I forgot what they are called, but they're like a Nike React something. I'm gonna put the name, I'll put the, I'll put the name here because I'll, I'll look it up later. I was looking for something to one, work out in and to like when I travel and I'm doing a lot of walking to walk around in. I wore these around in New York. I wore these around in Chicago. I went just recently and I also wore my New Balances, but for like everything else, it's like a lot of a lot of walking, I wore these and these things are extremely comfortable. They're like socks on your feet, but of course they have a hard bottom so they protect you. They're so comfortable, they're so dope. I like that white contrasting zipper right there. I don't know how long ago these actually came out. I found them on eBay. These came out in 2019, so just last year. So they're not an old shoe. And I think I paid like 80 bucks for them. So they weren't super expensive. And I wanted to get something where resale wasn't gonna be ridiculous and something I was super hyped. As you guys know me, based off what I just showed you, I'm not really into the hype stuff. If you've been watching my channel, you would know that. If you're new here, now you know. I don't really care about hype stuff. I care about stuff that I just like and I care about stuff that I'm gonna wear. They're running shoes, really, but I haven't really ran in them. Um, I work out at home in them, so very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. But anyway, that covers all of the footwear that I picked up. Let me know what you guys thought about these different pieces. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Now, if you're new to the channel and you watch this whole thing, appreciate it. So you might as well subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications because we still have a couple more videos. Today's, today's number five. So we have two more videos to, to go this week. So turn in your post notifications so when those go live, you'll be notified. And follow me over on Instagram. I talked about my versatility and style. There, you're gonna be able to see a lot more of my style in different aspects. You're gonna see the street. You're gonna see the smart casual. You're gonna see the casual. You're gonna see the dapper. You're gonna see more of my style over on IG. So follow me on there. I want you guys to kind of interact with me more with the content. So I'm, I'll be kind of like, you know, asking you guys some questions with different outfits. So I'm definitely gonna work on that to kind of bring that to my IG and my IG story. So make sure you follow me over there so we can interact and talk about different fashion things. But anyway, we have another video coming up tomorrow. So I'm gonna catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Peace.